Hello, how'd you, how'd you crew? Hope you're having a fantastic day today and your family's happy and healthy. Okay, I did a video the other day uh, showing the new electronic electric truck and the electric paint job in ETS2, and I mentioned the uh, anti-aliasing um, program that I was now currently trialling and seeing how it, it went on both ATS and ETS. Uh, and how it has improved the graphics and made the game seem just that much better. The actual plugin I tried it about a year and a half ago and it messed up my graphics really badly. So I un uninstalled it and said, no, I'm not going to use that. But uh, just recently there's a new version release, version 9, and I heard good reports about it and that... Uh, all the bugs and whatnot have been ironed out. So I decided I'd give it another try. Now this plugin's by a guy named Snowy Moon and you can get it from his Patreon site. So anyway, I, I downloaded it, gave it a try and I have to say that it does work. It uh, improves the quality of, and sharpness of the uh, graphics uh, in ATS and ETS too. So you can use it on both. And it's really easy to download and install. And I'll show you how to do that in a tech. But what we'll do is, he's actually made a, a video, the guy that uh, created it, that um, shows it pretty pretty good. So I thought I'd show you that video now. And just start that. And if you look down here, there'll be a pop-up. And that's before using the plugin. As you can see, you've got all these wavy lines. It's blurry and whatnot. And in a second, he'll change it and show you. There we go. Okay, now you can see it's quite sharp. There's none of that uh, flashing or flickering. And you can see on the big screen here now that it's very clear. And, yeah, the flickering's all back on. I mean, there's still a little bit of flickering here and there, but most of it has gone, and it's quite a sharp image. But what I'll do is I'll show you uh, some of my uh, in-game playthrough uh, with it so you can see what I mean. And in particular, I, I use a trailer that I bought from the Shadow Walker. It's a, um, I think it's called the Burn Cattle trailer. And when I use that in the uh, B-double format with all the bells and whistles attached to it, it um, bogs the frame rate down to around about... Uh, 25 to 30 frames per second in town. By using this uh, plugin, not only has it improved the look of the graphics, but my frame rate actually has been increased. And if anything, it should reduce your frame rate slightly by using any plugin. But I don't know what it's done, but it actually has increased the frame rate at least when I use that trailer. Now I get anywhere from 57 right up through to 100 and something frames per second when I've got that trailer attached so it's definitely helping but what we'll do is we'll go to the uh, website and show you where you can get it from this is the website here it's called snowymoon.io I'll leave a link to it down in the uh, description below the, it's not free it costs you a dollar because you've got to join his uh, Patreon page when you go to the page at the beginning it will say login with patreon subscribe by patreon and uh, all you've got to do is pay a dollar and then you can download it and anybody can afford a dollar i'm pretty sure so it's well worth that one dollar like i say it's a version 9 that i'm using and i'm using the added taa uh claret sorry the taa clarity plus is what i'm using but i'll go through that later so anyway you download it down the bottom here if you have a look where my mouse is spinning you can download it down here so once you've logged in uh, and you've paid your dollar you'll come to this page download it once you've downloaded it uh, you'll get a zip file it looks like this all you've got to do is open that up in either winzip 7zip whatever you use i use 7zip so i just double click that and you've got these two programs here you've got uh, that one input 8 bill and bxgi bill and all you do is 
extract those to your game folder. Uh, which one is it? This one here. So you go to wherever you've got your game loaded. I've got it on my H drive. Uh, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, American Truck Simulator, or Euro Truck Simulator 2, whichever one you're installing it to. I've installed it to both. Then the bin folder and the Win64. And as you can see, I've got them loaded up here. So that's all you do. You extract it to this location. So whatever drive you have, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, American Truck Simulator, or Euro Truck Simulator. Two, bin, and then win 64, and you drop them in there. All right, so it's so that simple. So once you've done that, you then uh, just simply go into the game, and I'll show you how it operates. Okay, so once you're in the game, um, just getting some fuel here. Oops, take it out again. So yeah, once you you're in the game, uh, it's just a matter of, oh, and once you've Okay, so first you've downloaded the program and you've uh, transferred or extracted the files to your game folder in the uh, bin folder. Once you've done all that and you're ready to rock and roll into the game like this, once you're in here, all you've got to do is simply press end. When you press end, it opens the UI for you, user interface. And from there, you can choose three different uh, levels of anti-aliasing. You've got the TAA, the TAA Clarity, and the TAA Clarity Plus. I'm using the TAA Clarity Plus. I don't know if that makes a major difference, but that's the first one I chose. I thought, why not go for the biggest one first? and <laughs> Give it a try. Then you enable the FXAA. And what I've done is I've increased the, well, actually this is, the, pretty sure this was the fault Let's have a look. Reset the default. Okay, no, it was. Okay, so I set that to three and set that to five. I think that's what I had. So three, four, and five. So that's with the clarity plus. And then I've got the T shadow enabled. And this shows you what P you use to uh, show or hide the user interface so it's that simple you just choose which one you want set the settings to what you desire I tried the default ones first to see how they were and adjust from there so once you've done that you just simply press end again it gets rid of that and away you go so now I'll show you the trailer that I'm talking about this is actually the trailer that when I ha normally have this connected in its format like it is here where it's a B double uh, and all the fruit attached to it all the uh, accessories it normally bogs the frame rate down in areas like this normally bogs the frame rate down to around about 30 frames per second but as you can see right now if you look up here in sorry if you look up in the top right hand corner of the screen right now you'll see that the frame rate is 72 frames per second and normally in this type of area it would be around about 30 35 and in built up areas it goes down to as low as 25 but again with this uh, plugin activated I'm not going any lower than I think the lowest I've seen was 57 frames per second but as you can see right now it's 72 but we'll get some fuel and then we'll go for a quick drive so you can check the frame rate out and also check out what the graphics look like Fill up the fuel, considering I was nearly out. Gonna take a little while. That's a nice trailer, this one too. I'll leave a link to where you can buy this from. Like I say, it's a Kiss Shadow one. I think that's how you pronounce his uh, name. All right. Do just to make sure. Just bear with me a tick. But as you can see, the uh, we jump outside. There's still tiny bits of flickering, and if you look at the power lines, normally those power lines would be blurry, jaggedy crap. 
right now they're reasonably straight. Oops. Take the next left. Let me in. Can I run into me? No, okay, how are we doing? Good. All right. So yeah, like you, can, like I say, you can see now if we hop out how clear. If you have a look at those telephone or telegraph wires, electrical wires, normally that with uh, out this enabled, they're really jaggedy and they. Disgusting, but whoop! So I'm concentrating on looking at everything else except for where I'm going. All right. So, like I say, if you're watching the frame rate, it's down to 65. Like I say, normally I in this type of area, I would be at uh, probably 35. So it, it is actually improving my frame rate. But yeah, have a look at those graphics, team. Nice and sharp. Continue straight. Very little flickering. I mean, you, I'm really hard pushed to see any flickering. The white lines on the road, there's a slight flicker there, but I'm being really picky. If you sort of go like on an angle to them, you can see there's a little bit of flickering. Normally, that would be really bad. I mean, the corners of buildings would be flickering. The fence over here on the uh, left near this white car, the fence would be flickering. But, uh, like I say, very little flickering now. And the signs, normally... I've got to be right on top of the sign to read what it says because they're too uh, too blurry. But now they're nice and sharp and clean, and you can see them actually from a distance. But yeah, have a look at those graphics. They're crystal clear. So yeah, I highly recommend the Snowy Moon uh, TAA and. Uh, like I say, if you want to download it for yourself, I'll leave that link down below. And just remember that you've got to uh, subscribe to his Patreon. Pay the uh, $1, exorbitant $1, to have the privilege of downloading it. But like I say, I mean, the guys put a lot of work into it, done a great job. Like I say, I wasn't really happy with it when I first tried it about a year ago whenever it was uh, because it messed my graphics up but now it's improved them and again if you look at that frame rate nice and steady at around about 65 to 70 frames per second fluctuating up and down a bit but nowhere near as low as what it used to be which was like I say 35 frames at its worst there we go all right Why did I decouple it? <laughs> anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I've made a bit of a mess of it, but uh, at least you get to see the, or get the idea. Again, have a look at those power lines. 
they're nice and straight. Normally, uh, if I you know didn't have this um, plug in, they'd be jaggedy and they'd look like garbage. So um, it's definitely worth your while. Check it out if you want. Again, if it doesn't work for you, you can uninstall it like I did the first time. But it's working for me now, and it works really well. Uh, so if you did enjoy the video, guys, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's free. It helps me out. And uh, share it with your friends. If you know someone who's got an ATS or ETS2 and wants to improve their graphics. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, if you did enjoy it, catch you next one. Bye for now.